Good morning. Today is Monday, May 17th, 2021. Please join me and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Happy birthday today to Elijah Lopez, Malena Muffler, and Milo Smith. Hope you have great birthdays today. For breakfast today, we'll have pumpkin bread, applesauce cup, raisins, and milk. For lunch today, we'll have chicken tenders, mixed vegetables, mixed applesauce, dino bites, and milk. Tomorrow for lunch, we'll have Lucky Charm cereal kit, a banana, and milk. A reminder, this is the last week of Learning Lab. Learning Lab is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays for all students in grades six through eight. This is a great time to have some quiet time and get your work done. It's from three to four o'clock p.m. And remember students, if you take advantage of this, please make sure you have a ride ready to pick you up at four o'clock p.m. A reminder, information will be coming home for next year's sixth, seventh, and eighth graders who wanna sign up for electives. Elective classes in the junior high include band, choir, and art. Be looking for these sign-up sheets and get them turned in ASAP. We have some new members of our AR Point Clubs. In the 25 Point Club, we'd like to welcome Charles Addis, Keith Cromer, Irene Dorado, Camden Esgar, Zoe Flavin, Hartley Goldsberry, Carson Holbert, Andrew Jessup, Ava Peterson, and Olivia Terry. In the 50 Point Club, we have Adeline Bloomberg, Vida Conjura, Xander Flatness, Abigail Padilla Nunez, Adelina Salinas, Oliver Urbach, Hunter Vary, and Logan Yackley. In the 75 Point Club, we have Clara Burgess, Aniston Caputo, Trevor Matora, and I, I, excuse me, Ayla Thannenbow. And the newest member of our 200 point club is Nolan Raymer. Congratulations, Nolan. All AR club point, all AR points clubs will be finalized on Wednesday, May 19th. So make sure if you want to wrap up any tests, you get them completed by then. We'll have one more announcements of point clubs. As we get ready for the end of the school year, we will be starting to collect Chromebooks this week. Each day, a different grade level will be turning in their Chromebooks. And today, the kindergartners will turn in their Chromebooks. On Tuesday, first grade will turn in theirs. Wednesday will be second grade. Thursday will be third grade. and you might think you know the pattern, but on Friday will be eighth grade. Our eighth graders' grades will be due and they'll turn in their Chromebooks. And then their last day of school will be Monday, May 24th. So our eighth graders are just about done with their school year. We're looking forward to celebrate all their accomplishment at their graduation ceremony next week. I wanna take a moment, today is a special day in history. On May 17th in 1954, the Supreme Court ruled on the court case Brown versus the Board of Education. In a major civil rights victory, the US Supreme Court hands down a unanimous decision in Board versus, Brown versus the Board of Education, ruling that racial segregation in public educational facilities is unconstitutional. The historic decision, which brought to an end to federal tolerance of racial segregation, specifically dealt with Linda Brown, a young African-American girl who had been denied admission to her local elementary school in Topeka, Kansas, because of the color of her skin. Previously, in 1896, the Supreme Court had ruled in Plessy versus Ferguson that separate but equal accommodations in railroad cars conformed to the 14th Amendment's guarantee of equal protection. That ruling was used to justify segregation in all public facilities, including elementary schools. 
However, in the case of Linda Brown, the white school she attempted to attend was far superior to her black alternative and miles closer to her home. The National Association for the Advancement of Color People, or NAACP, took up Linda's case, and in 1954, Brown v. the Board of Education of Topeka reached the Supreme Court. African American lawyer and future Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall led Brown's legal team, and on May 17, 1954, the High Court handed down its decision. In an opinion written by Chief Justice Earl Warren, the nation's highest court ruled that not only was the separate but equal doctrine unconstitutional in Linda's case, it was unconstitutional in all cases because educational segregation stamped an inherent badge of inferiority on African-American students. A year later, after hearing arguments on the implementa implementation of their ruling, the Supreme Court published guidelines requiring public school systems to integrate with all deliberate speed. Brown v. the Board of Education served to greatly motivate the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 1960s and ultimately led to the abolishment of racial segregation in all public facilities. So a big historical day in education today. And I thought we would do one more uh, drawing for a $10 gift card to Amazon or Walmart. And the question is, when Linda Brown was, this case started and Linda Brown was trying to go to school, what grade was Linda Brown in? So you can email me your answers. You can email me by the end of the day, then I'll do a drawing and then I'll announce tomorrow's winner on the announcements. So the, again, that question is, in the historic Brown v. the Board of Education, it was dealing with a student named Linda Brown who was trying to go to her local school. What grade was Linda Brown in when this took place? And while you're looking that up, you can read more interesting facts about Linda Brown and what she did after this case. Well, that's all the announcements we have for today, but let's remember our Morris motto to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Have a great Monday and a great week, everybody.